Detroit rapper Eminem is arguably one of the best lyricists in the game, with his keen attention to detail and dedication to his craft as a wordsmith. So Genius News decided to take a closer look at what makes him so talented. What I love about rap is that it feels like it's puzzles to mm. me. Like, how can I take uh, words and, and put them at the end of the sentence, but in between, maybe make some words rhyme in between that, that rhyme and like sandwich him. Eminem began his career as a battle rapper, and it's not surprising that he has a range of flows and sounds in his repertoire. But in 2013, he sent a very bold message to the rap game with Rap God. I'm beginning to feel like a rap god, rap god. All my people from the front to the back, not back, not. The record-breaking rap god with its quick flow, intricate rhymes, and bold proclamations was a career-defining track for him. Rap God is one of those performances that verges on the impossible. That's Adam Bradley, director of race and popular culture at the University of Colorado Boulder. He joined us to break down Eminem's standout flow on Rap God and 2020's Godzilla. Throughout Rap God, he uses a number of poetic devices simultaneously to produce a work of virtuoso. And this puts me in mind of, of what the Latin rhetoricians called copia, which is an overabundance of expression. And this overflow is best seen in the relentless verses that showcase his technique. Eminem is not bounded by the rules of rap in these songs. He's not bounded by the 16 bar verse. He's not bounded by the end of where the bar should, should come to a close and resolve itself. He pushes his language past those constraints. On both tracks, we get displays of his technical skill. From his breath control. Let me know when it occurs to you while I'm ripping any one of these verses. The verses you, it's curtains, I'm inadvertently hurting you. How many verses I gotta murder to prove that if you were half as nice as songs, you could sacrifice virgins to us. Uh! To his range of rhyme schemes, like his use of mosaic rhyme, which is a flow when you rhyme a multisyllabic word like Risperdal with two or more shorter words. And in the midst of all this, I'm in a mental hospital with a crystal ball, trying to see what I still be like this tomorrow. Risperdal voices whisper, my fist is ball back up against the wall, pencil drawn. And his use of rhyming multisyllabic words together that rhyme with earlier verses like on Rap God with Pocket and Office. I got a laptop in my back pocket, my pinnacle walk when I hack cock it. Got a fat knock from that rap profit, made a living in a killing office. Ever since Bill Clinton was still in office. He does all of that in here, and, and what it does is it, it satisfies the mind's lust for rhyme. Whether we, we know it or not, our minds want rhyme. And he delivers that, but also gives us variety. And that is ultimately the, the thing that and captures our attention when it comes to his rhymes. This showcase of skill weaves him into a legacy of hip-hop craftsmanship, something he's worked at by studying the greats. Me, I'm a product of rock him, lock him, Sebastian Pockin, W-A-Q, hey, dot, ring, yellow, easy, thank you, they got slim. And in doing so, he creates a sense of the history of hip-hop, one of which he is obviously an integral part now. And on Godzilla, M reminds us that what he's doing isn't easy, but it comes naturally to him. Cause every time I'm digging Harry Carey, I'm Mary, I'm motherfucking dictionary, I'm swearing up and down, they can spit this shit's hilarious, it's time to put these bitches in the obituary column, we wouldn't see eye to eye with a staring problem. Virtuosity is only really acknowledged when it's apparent in this way, when it's made obvious, it's harder, it's not something you kind of have to look for. These moments of virtuosity are conscious efforts on the part of an artist to say, look how hard what, what I'm doing is. And why do his fans love this flex of virtuosity? Even in the sinister tone and aggressive delivery, it's the love of his expansive language. Poets like Robert Frost, Langston Hughes, and Elizabeth Bishop were amongst the world's greatest authors whose prose also centered around the obsession of word choice. I heard that you used to read the dictionary. I want to be able to have all these words at my disposal in my vocabulary at all times, whenever I need to pull them out. You don't really want to get into a prison match with this rap, and he rap pack in the Mac in the back of the yak, back pack, rap, rap, yap, 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 yak, nap the exact same time I attempt these lyrical acrobats stunts while I'm practicing that. I think of Eminem as that kind of obsessive artist with language. You can see it in his notebooks that he's released, this uh, kind of graphomania where he just writes and writes and writes with a level of attention to language and its relationship to sound. Let me show you maintaining this shit ain't that hard, that hard. Everybody wants the key and the secret to rap immortality like I have got. And do you think about this throughout the day? Yeah, all day. Yeah, I actually drive myself insane with it. You just have to figure out the, the science to breaking down words. His music constantly draws controversy, using homophobic and violent language as a shock factor in its lyrics. But above all, the speed in which he performs them brings his audience back for more. Filling with the venom and eliminate him. Other words, I'm enemy. I don't want to hurt him, but I did him in a fit of rage. I murder him again. Nobody will evade him. Fill him and dump the fucking bodies in it like obliterating. Everything is generated. Renegade him. Enemy. Anybody who wanted with the pen and frame it. Don't nobody want it, but they're going to get it anyway. I think that is the ultimate moment of grandiose. <laughs> aspirations on this song when, when we really see him as a virtuoso at work. 
As Eminem continues to reinvent himself and shock his listeners, pushing himself past the rules of constraint, there's no denying the place of the MC in hip hop history. I'm Delisa with Genius News, bringing you the meaning and the knowledge behind the music.